Lake Sakakawea, stop number two in the 2017 season of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. And fishing has been tough. Anglers are predicting low weights and long runs of up to 140 miles one way. The weather, specifically the wind, could play a big factor here on day two. There's more than $300,000 on the line this week, and the action starts right now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. It is day number one, Lake Sakakawea, Garrison, North Dakota, for stop number two on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. I'm Chip Lear, and it is going to be a great two days here. What's interesting about this event is just how much water these anglers have to choose from. This body of water is 178 miles long. There's over 300,000 acres that these anglers can fish. The shoreline alone, which is key because the fish have moved up shallow in this cool, cool water, is over 1,300 miles long. That's longer than the coast of California. These anglers are making long runs of the fish. Rumor has it the north end, the far side of the lake, over 150 miles away, is holding the most active fish with the warmest water. So these anglers are making that run. Who can manage their time, gas, and catch the right fish? Let's find out and get out there with the boys. Making the run is a bit like rolling the dice. There's limited fuel on the other end. And if the wind kicks up, there's no guarantee you'll make it back. Then there's the fish. They're catching them, but it hasn't been consistent. You know, pre-fishing's been really, really tough. It's early in the year. It's, um, the fish are migrating way to the west. That's where they do a lot of their spawn, and then they work their way back. So, for example, on the west end of the reservoir, we have about 50 to 60 degree water. And over here on the east end, it's like 40 to 45 degrees. So it's a big change in water temp. Um, we're going to be making some long runs, and that's where the fish are. That's just what we have to do. I know what this fishery can produce, and there is some monster fish in here. Uh, probably there was a week before NWT came, a uh, game of fish uh, netted a 16 pound walleye just over here on the east end, not too far away from the launch that would be going out tomorrow. So there's some, there's some giants out here, and if you can get on the right fish and get them, get them quick, it'd be nice to be close, but you can get a big bag of fish. After 110 miles, Jacob and his co-angler will ease their way into position and join the crowd already in place. Most of the big names are up here, including Corey Sprangle, Mark Kortz, and Jason Shakirat, the 2016 NWT defending champion. Well, the run up here was good today. We had perfect conditions. Was able to go 50 miles an hour the whole way. We got just the right wind here. We got a Southeast wind blowing into the bank. And this bank in particular is, is just kind of a sandy, gravelly bank that this is way up in the west end of the reservoir. I think a lot of the spawning occurs right here. A lot of the, uh, both the smelt spawn and the walleye spawn. And that's why we're picking off these fish. But, Nothing fancy, we're just using jigs and minnows and five to seven feet of water. And there's a few little small rock piles mixed in along this bank, but don't have a lot of time to fish. <laughs> it's crazy. But we do have two in the first 25 minutes, so that's a good start. Fishing in the same crowd, we'll check back with local pro Jacob L. and his co-angler, Whitefish Montana's Jerry Barraker. They're bouncing crawlers Fish. along the bottom in shallow water. Fish on. Good nice fish. work, Jerry. Good fish. Good fish. Hey. All right, all right. That fish was in about six and a half foot of water. There's another one that was in there. We well, just slide up and down this bank. We're fishing shallow water and not knowing exactly how many people may show up here, but I mean, it's just shallow water. You may have too much pressure on them, so the quicker you can get these fish, 
more than likely the better off we're going to be. So hit them as hard as we can here. Stay with us. There's more tournament coverage from Lake Sakakawea coming up on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. For tournament schedules and information, visit nationalwalleytour.com. It won't win a beauty contest. Might win a fishing contest. For 85 bucks, you can bring it all without spending it all. Cabela's Advanced Anglers Tackle Bag. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. The FS Multi-Species Series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Rudy e Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evan Rudy e Tech. Lucas Oil Marine Products, established by performance, built on quality and proven on land and sea. Lucas Marine Products offer a complete lineup of outboard engine oils, fuel treatments, lubricants, and boat care products. Expect optimal performance from your investment by using Lucas Marine Products. Available at Cabela's. Long live the courageous, the tenacious, the ones who push forward and give back. Long live the greater good, the helping hand, and long live the truck built to outlast them all. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back to stop number two in the 2017 season of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We launched early this morning from Garrison, North Dakota, nearly 100 clicks east. And for many, there's still miles to go. This is Mike DeFibba. He won the first event of the season, and to his credit, donated the cash portion of his winnings to a very special group of kids. Um, me and my wife talked. Uh, she, she, we've been saving for about three years now to uh, get enough money so we can afford to fish the whole tour this year. And uh, she gave me the thumbs up that we'd had the money saved, so we, we made a commitment to uh, donate all our winnings this year, all our cash winnings to the Make-A-Wish in Columbus, Ohio there. And uh, we donated a $15,000 check from the first tournament to them. And we're hoping to cash another check right here to give them some more. That's fantastic. And give me, tell me your shout outs again that you did. Her. Uh, I'd like to say hi to Victoria. Uh, I got to meet her at uh, a gala for Make-A-Wish down in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, young lady, 17 years old, has had more uh, had more challenges thrown her way than anybody should. She's just so happy and full of life that uh, it's it's tough to talk about. But she came up, gave me a hug, talked to me about fishing for probably 15, 20 minutes. It was uh, it was definitely uh, a humbling experience, and uh, to be able to do something to help help kids out like that, that's uh, I feel privileged to be able to do it. Back on the water, Mike got right back into the swing of things, sacking up five with his co-angler Ryan Schultz. It feels good. Due to time constraints, we're giving you abbreviated coverage of all our anglers. For an extended look, head on over to the NWT Facebook page. That's one we wanted. All right, take him all the way back. Back in Garrison for the day one weigh-in. He won his most recent event here on Lake Erie in Huron, Ohio. How you doing? Mike Deffenbaugh, along with Ryan Schultz, his co-angler. You guys got five fish in the bag today. They are going to set a mark, and they're going to set it early. Locks in at 13.2. Mike and Ryan weighed 13.22 for 59th place, earning him a little love from the family. 
Jacob L. and Jerry Barocker fared slightly better, putting five on the scales for 1578 and 33rd place. Jason Shakurit's long run paid off. He and his co-angler weighed five for 1641 and 24th place. Moving on to the day one leaders, Minot, North Dakota's Jason Vitava, along with co-angler William Gaines, brought in a limit for 2252, pushing them into second. It was a, a tough day. Obviously, it turned out good for us. I mean, we caught five fish. Uh, that was it. We, we fought for five bites. We got five bites. Um, five more than I thought I was going to get going into the day. I've had a tough bite all week, pre-fishing. The nice weather today obviously helped a lot. A um, little bit of stable weather, water warming up. Um, definitely helped me, and then we got a couple big bites. You know, we had a, 20, a couple fish over 28, right at 28 inches or better, I'm guessing, so uh, that's always a bonus. We got five fish this there. This is Fort Pierce, South Dakota's Dwayne Helm and his co-angler, Dennis Luer. Looks like a nice five, Dwayne. Yeah, that's a really nice five. Now remember, 22 pounds is winning. Somewhere in that ball game, right? 22. 0.52, so that means if you weigh 23.51, this is our new winning duo. Dwayne, you are leading the Cabela's National Walleye Tour, day number one, Garrison, South Dakota. With Dwayne on top, here's a look at the rest of the Cabela's leaderboard at the end of day one. For the complete list of standings, please visit nationalwalleytour.com. Coming up, we'll get back on the water for the second and final day from Garrison, North Dakota and Lake Sakakawea, right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evan Rude E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Not all water is created equal. It's why Stratus builds multi-species boats to take on the pressure of the rough stuff while reinforcing comfort, confidence, and convenience. Inside, the specially engineered construction is designed for an exceptional ride and superb handling features. The Stratus Excursion Series. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Mercury engine tap. Fuel efficiency you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evan Rood. Proven power. Proven reliability. And by Arctic Ice, we put the cool in coolers. It is day two of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour on Lake Sakakawea in Garrison, North Dakota. And we are off to a great start yesterday with 100 of the 112 boats bringing in a limit of fish. Exciting day with long runs. Now today it's gonna to be a completely 
different day for these anglers. And how are they setting up these anglers? Six of the top 10 are from the Dakotas themselves. They know these waters and they know the wind. And with gusts predicted at close to 30 miles an hour by early afternoon, it is gonna take some of that local knowledge to knock it off. There are 5.73 pounds separating the top 10. In this area where the DNR has recently netted fish over 16 pounds, that means it's anybody's game. What's interesting is the next 56 spots are separated by only five pounds. It's gonna be anybody's game, and day number two is gonna be one to remember here at Lake Sakakawea. Getting back on the water for the second day of tournament coverage, we're once again making the 110 mile run west. Today, we're with tournament leader, Dwayne Helm. After sacking up 23 and a half pounds on day one, Dwayne is back in position and off to a fast start, pulling crankbaits with co-angler Brett Senecal. They've quickly put two fish in the box. How was that the start? <laughs> I guess, is this how you expected it to go this morning? Well, you come out here with hopes and dreams and so far it's paying off what we decided to do this morning, so. Yeah, it's pretty awesome when you can start the morning off with a 31 inch here. Yeah, that's within the first that's two minutes of uh, getting the lines in the water. Yeah, you know, that's the best possible start we could have had for sure. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, cover as much water as I possibly can, as fast as I can. Um, you know, there's a lot of live bait going on out here, and I mean, obviously it's working. Everybody's catching fish. Um, everybody's catching good fish. Uh, it just seems like they want a crankbait um, to get a, maybe a reaction strike. Um, we're running uh, Berkeley Flicker Shad number sevens and Berkeley Flicker Minnows number sevens. Um, we're running two lead core, two mono. Uh, pretty simple setup and very effective to keep them baits in that eight to ten foot zone. There's kind of a old, two old shorelines and that's right where the fish are laying. Um, that's, that's what we're targeting. Yeah, just let him freak out out there. It's a good fish. Ten. Five. Eight. Just lift slow. And that is fish number three. I don't think he's going to help us too much. Again, due to time constraints, we're only showing you a portion of Dwayne's morning. For more coverage of Dwayne or any of our featured anglers, please check out the National Walleye Tour Facebook page. Moving on, we'll check in with Minot, North Dakota's Jason Vitava. Jason started the morning in second. He's fishing the eastern side of the lake with co-angler Kent Kolich. Come on, fish. I had to find him close, yeah. I, uh, like I said, I probably got the smallest boat in the tournament. Uh, for sure, I don't have the speed. So uh, I knew I was gonna have to stay deep close to the, you know, close to the takeoff. And um, I, uh, this is my home water, so I've had a place here, my folks have since I was little and uh, grew up fishing from here all the way down the East End. So this is home to me and uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but sometimes uh, memories can hurt you. Sometimes they can help you. <laughs> but one thing about Sakakawi, everything holds pretty true year after year. I mean, the same places have fish the same time of year. Um, it all depends on water temp and water color. It's a walleye, I think. No, nope, maybe it's a bass. We'll see. Yep, good one. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and Jason and Kent are on the board. Stay with us. We've got a lot of money and the championship title on the line. We're going to give it all away. It's the final weigh-in coming up from Garrison, North Dakota, right here on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour.
most versatile fishing machine on Earth, unparalleled resolution and clarity. HDS Carbon takes rapid response performance and screen technology to an all new level. Maximized power, maximized visibility. See Structure Scan 3D, new live network sonar, and more mapping options, all at the same time and faster than ever before. Get up to $300 cash back with the HDS Ultimate Upgrade. Visit Lorenz.com for details. New trolling motor? Yep. Can I touch it? I wouldn't. Minn Kota Fortrex, now with 112 pounds of thrust and a restraining order. You've been warned. family of bass boats from Triton. Seven awesome models from 18 and a half to nearly 22 feet. TRX. Huge casting decks, massive storage compartments, extreme Triton performance. TRX. The boat for back-to-back -back classic champions. Ready to rocket you to the winner circle. TRX. With Triton, having it all has never been so easy. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Mercury Marine, Go Boldly, Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure, Triton Boats, We Take America Fishing, Welcome back to Garrison, North Dakota and Lake Sakakawea, where the skills and limits of some of the best walleye anglers in the country have been tested with high winds and long runs. We worked our tails off all week long and pretty much came up with a pattern that we got to go get some weight and then try to upgrade. We can play with three, so every day that's exactly what I did. I filled up the box with a little bit of weight and then I tried to get in a big one. Fortunately enough, I've got I know, probably a five, six pounder today and I had one seven and a half or something yesterday, so hopefully it's good enough for a check. Well, it you know it's slow for us, but uh, we got five. I was trying to get my co-angler up uh, where it needed to be. I had 14 pounds yesterday, but uh, we did come in with five. Uh, had a great day on the water. Had to stop, put a little gas in because we made a little bit of a run today. But uh, super day, good co-angler. You know the, the right fish bit today is all. I didn't change up the darn thing. You know, um, and that's just kind of how it goes. You know, you know you're on the right fish, and you sit there and you stick them out. But you got to have the right bites. And today it just panned out a little bit. These boys know how to put fish in the boat, both of them individually on their own. How you doing guys? Good to have you here. Mr. Bjorkman, that looks like a pretty nice sack to go with your 14, 16 yesterday. You had over 22 pounds yesterday, William, so this is a big bag for you because you got a shot to get all the way back up into the leader side on the co-angler side. The weight, 19.24 pounds. Great job. 41.76, William gets you not in third, second, on the co-angler side. You're right there, man. Right, fantastic, yeah, that's, I don't know what to say. William Gaines held on to second in the co-angler standings, picking up $3,500 for his work. Nice job. Moving on to the top of the leaderboard, Hall of Famer Ted Takasaki rounds out the top five with a two-day total of 3928. Brian Bayshore added 22.45 on day two for a total weight of 39.91 and fourth place. Bismarck, North Dakota's Gene Merck finished out the week in third with 39.92. Uh, I watch these guys all the time. You know, got friends that fish that tour every year. They've been fishing PWT, NWT. Um, I know what it takes to win one of those and it takes a lot of luck and a lot of skill and I sure used up a lot of luck today. Jason Vitapa started the day one pound behind the leader. He went out and swung for the fence, but it wasn't enough. 
Jason will finish the week in second, earning him nearly $20,000. I was fighting for one more fish. And, uh, I kept uh, saying, should we head back or should we go for it? He goes, oh, either go for a good check or go for the win, right? We tried, just couldn't get that upgrade. I mean, we had five bites again today and fought for every one of them. Everybody is chasing our next boat up. He is from Fort Pierce, South Dakota. Put it together, he weighed 23.51 yesterday. Talking about Dwayne Helm along with Brent is a co-angler here and it looks like they got a huge basket of fish. This might be almost as big as yesterday, but a very nice bag, 21.90. Dwayne reclaims the lead in the first place here. Awesome job. The 32 incher set the presence this morning. If we wouldn't have had them fish in the box at 10.30 when we went to go get fuel, or if we would have waited till noon, or you know, you don't even know if you're gonna get them bites. And you know, we basically had them fishing a pass and a half. And you know, I guess when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. When it's your time, it's your time. I, you know, fishing against all these guys is just, just seeing them in person is something I'll never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, he is taking home not only first place rights, get around here and hold it up with me, Anthony. He's getting a check right here that includes a Ranger boat and cash for $86,555. That's your boat certificate, hold on to it. And that does it. Congratulations to Dwayne Helm for his first NWT win. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10 on the Cabela's leaderboard. On the co-angler side, Steve Kuchenberg is your 2017 Lake Sakakawea champion, and he'll cash a check for $6,000. You know, both pros I ran with, uh, both Chris Johnson yesterday and Carl Winkebach today, great fishermen. They knew where the fish were, and we made a great team of just getting it done and, and working together. It was an awesome, awesome experience. Moving on to the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year standings. Mike Goffron has a slight lead over some of the best in the business. We've got one more event in the season before the championship, and it's shaping up to be another tight race. A big thanks to the Garrison Convention and Visitors Bureau. If you're headed to the region, look them up at garrisonnd.com. Steve and Dwayne, those are your 2017 Lake Sakakawea champions. For more information on the richest professional walleye tour in the nation, look us up at nationalwalleytour.com. The NWT is a joint effort between Outdoor Teamworks and Carico TV. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.